YouTube. We're here with the UMX ASK21. Uh, I was out here on this little hill in our neighborhood. And we're gonna try it again. We've got a little better wind now. We're gonna try to slope soar it. It's like a combination of slope soaring and thermaling right now. Oh okay, yeah, pause it. All right, guys. See there, the wind stopped. Nope. I gotta try to get to the other side of the street. <laughs> okay, pause it. Yeah. Is you got to keep a nose down attitude to keep flying. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Well, that was crappy. Oh, that was really bad. Okay. There we go. We got a little bit of updraft. It's like basically whenever the wind decides to go updraftage, then we can fly for a minute. And when I say a minute, that's a very, very, <laughs> very relative short term. Just wait for the dust here. Okay. Keep it going. Right? Yeah. Or I just throw hard. The problem is then I get away from the. I get away from the updraft that's created by the hill. Okay, pause it. Oh, then it lulls on me. Totally. totally you feel the wind stop completely yep. under it. Ah, oh, so frustrating. Okay. attitude to keep flying that it's just there's just simply not enough wind today but the thing is let's just get real guys if there was more wind this thing would get torn up it'd be destroyed in like the first landing so I'm not sure what to tell you other than even though it looks awesome it's probably gonna need to have a power pack let's try some more okay okay guys we're gonna do the contrary 
to what everybody's thinking, and that is, let's go ahead and make the plane heavier. Okay, 1S 150 milliamps. We're gonna go up to a 300 milliamp pack if we can fit it. AS3X, a little extra weight. We might have to stuff it kind of in the middle there next to that tow release servo. Okay, so it's initiated. No, it's not, not yet. Waiting for it to initiate. Sometimes it takes a second on this plane and I don't really understand that. I'm gonna try it again, clearing my timer. If I end up putting in a power, po power pack on this, I'm gonna take out that tow release servo. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're working now. And one thought I had is I could put this up in the canopy, which is probably what we're gonna have to do, because it's big. See, I put this little piece of foam in there, it's super, super light, and that just squishes the battery into place because the Velcro was ripped off of mine when I got it. Or it ripped off like near immediately. How about we put it that way? Okay, so I'm just gonna slip this up into the, ooh, we might have to go from the other direction, I wonder. Yeah, we'll probably have to go the other way, guys. Whoa, sorry. I gotta turn I'm gonna have to shoot from over my right shoulder. I'd be my left shoulder, but whatever, that's fine. That'll be good. Okay, so guys, this is probably just gonna make the thing heavy and fly like crap. But it, okay, so don't forget if you get this thing, you know, because they've been discontinued for like three years. <laughs> if you pick one up, don't forget to give it throttle to initiate the AS3X. Or if you don't like AS3X, never give it throttle. So just shut your throttle curve all the way down to like zero, 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 and you can't accidentally hit it or put a throttle cut on. So I don't know if you guys are into AS3X, which I am. I don't know why you wouldn't like AS3X. If you don't like stabilization, you're weird. All right, here we go. I know there's people that don't like it, by the way. anything home but still that wasn't horrible puzzle okay 300 milliamp battery still guys it's one of my many nemesis in this neighborhood okay okay so guys there's one good thing about this plane and that is if you're uh fat like me you'll get a workout <laughs> so anyway you'll notice the seal is teardrop shaped and so the wind is coming this direction. I'm just trying to catch the leading edge of it, but it's just kind of keeps shifting. There we go. Well, anyway, you guys, it's been good while it lasted. Don't forget <laughs> to like and subscribe for these high energy, <laughs> high excitement glider videos. Trying slope soaring again with the UMX uh, ASK21. 300 milliamp battery, which is huge for this plane. Okay, we're gonna switch it. All right, guys. So we got a 300 milliamp hour battery in here. A Zippy Compact. We're gonna unplug that. We're gonna go back to a smaller one. We were just trying it to see how that would work. Um, can be a little tricky to get this thing out, I'm wondering. Maybe we'll shoot it out the back. Yeah, that might work. Or it might get stuck. Probably just gonna get stuck is what's gonna happen. There we go. There it is. Okay, so we'll just put in 150 milliamp. We were just flying. We were just flying this plane. Try, trying to fly it, I guess you could call it gliding. We were gliding this plane down a hill in our neighborhood. Now we just came to a local park here that has a hill. But it, as it turns out, the wind is not quite, you know, perpendicular to the uh, to the hill. We've got this little piece of foam that holds that battery where we decide to put it. We'll try a couple of different positions. Your rudder. Better. Throttle for AS3X. Okay, now it's probably going to calm down, so we'll have to have to wait for the wind. There we go. 
That was amazing. <laughs> Do you want me to? Yeah. All right, guys. So we're just gonna scoot that battery up, try to get that center of gravity situated a little bit more further forward, and. Uh, Slope soaring shouldn't be this hard. And I don't really think it is if you have a plane that's a little better suited for it. But it's like, as you can tell, it's not dead calm out here. It's also not crazy windy. Okay. I'm just waiting for the wind. And we want to kind of try to ride this line where there's going to be some updraft. And it's going to be a very limited updraft, but this is a small plane, so. That's what you get, guys. Kind of sucks, I think. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this plane and I'm gonna put a power pad in it. And uh, basically, hopefully she's gonna fly really good. Um, but I'm not, why don't you move over there so I can throw it. The wind is coming this way. If it was coming from that side, I think we'd be a little better off. You can see she likes to fly and she'll fly good, but if she's got to fly fast, then you're not going to be doing much flying um, unless the wind is really heavy. And if the wind is really heavy, then you're going to rip it up on the first landing. So I don't know. It's a little bit of a catch 22, not an ASK 21. Thanks for watching.